What's going on guys? This is Sevi from SG and today we're going to learn how to set up payment plans and deposit plans on your WooCommerce store. The biggest difference between uh, the WooCommerce payment plans and deposit plans plugin um, and all the other WooCommerce deposits plugin including WooCommerce deposits um, is that the WooCommerce payment plans accepts automatic renewals um, and all the other WooCommerce deposit plugins do not. This means that after the first payment, um, you'll have to manually bill all your customers if you use the other plugins. Whereas with this plugin, after the first payment is received, it will automatically um, charge the customer's credit card um, for, for the future installments. But first, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and all the links to the plugins can be found in the description box below. Let's get started. The first step is to purchase the WooCommerce payment plan um, by following this link, and I'll put it, put it right here. Um, so after you purchase the WooCommerce payment plans and go through the cart, you're able to download it. Um, You'll get an email with your uh, like username and password, and you're able to download that plugin on this page. So after you download that, um, you also have to go and purchase the WooCommerce subscriptions plugin. Um, so I also put the link for that plugin here. Um, but after you download that plugin, then you want to navigate to your WooCommerce dashboard, and you want to go to plugins, and then click add new. So once you upload both both those plugins, um, you can make sure that they're both installed correctly by going to WooCommerce and then coming going going down to settings. So once you go to settings, you'll see that the deposits uh, plugin has been activated because when you when you toggle this right here, um, you know you see a new column here. Then you're gonna want to go and navigate to um, a product that you want to offer a payment plan on. Um, so you go to you know products, and I want to make a payment plan on the retro sneakers. So you know, I go to retro sneakers, go to edit, and it's really easy to set up from generally and go to deposits. You're gonna click deposits, and then you're gonna click this button right here that says add plan. So I'm gonna add a plan. Over four months, you're gonna collect $25 um, you know, right away, and then $25 30 days from now, $25 60 days from now, and $25 90 days from now. So then um, these are optional, subtext and description are optional. Price, you wanna click override product, and then I'll put $25 here. Awesome. So I don't need to click anything right here. All I have to do is Scroll up to update. And once I click update, then I can go view the product. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just open up a new tab. And here is the product right here. So it's the retro sneakers. Um, it's for a hundred dollars. And I can pay, you know, I can either pay now for a hundred dollars or pay a deposit. Um, of $25 today and then um, after 30 days another $25 after 30 days another $25 after that and then finally um, 90 days from now would be $25 for your final payment so really by going uh, you know double screen I want to show so really by going double screen I just want to show you um, kind of the different options you'll be able to have just with each payment plan so uh, one-time purchase right here this basically means that um, you want to also offer with your payment plan on the product page the ability to either pay, you know, the full price right here, or um, or do you only want to offer the deposit option? So if this was unchecked, like here, um, and I went up and clicked update, then refresh this, um, like the paying the deposit, or like the payment plan, would be, is the only like option available for this product, but Obviously, when I go back here and I uh, enable one-time purchase option uh, for your product and then click save, 
and then refresh this page, um, you'll see that um, the one-time purchase is available. So uh, additionally, um, the default to is basically what you know payment option you want um, the product to default to. So right now I have it on the, the deposit plan. So that's why um, when a you know, customer and user comes to the page um, first, um, this option is going to be toggled. But if I wanted to switch it to a one-time purchase as uh, um, the default payment option, then I would just toggle that and then scroll up and click update. Um, further, um, by default, this subtext of X interest payments um, will be, you know, uh, be the subtext after uh, the payment option. Um, but if you want, you can customize text um, that you like to insert in here. Um, sometimes um, you have so many different payment op options or plans that you want to offer your customers. You want to make sure they fully understand um, you know, the intervals that they're buying on, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then also um, you can add, you know, description text. So if I add, um, you know, zero interest, or if I just put no background check needed, then I went and clicked update. And then I reloaded this page. You'll see that there's a subtext underneath the pay to deposit option that says no background check needed. So some of you might be saying, okay, this is this is a cool old plugin. Let's see like what's the cart and the checkout flow. Like what does that look like? So if I go back to full screen, I'm gonna buy the retro sneakers. I'm gonna add this to my cart. So I go to the cart and this is just an example of what the cart looks like. So if this is a normal product, the hoodie. Um, it's not bought in the payment plan, so the, the total is gonna be you know, $42. Um, if you go uh, to this line item, this is the retro sneakers. Um, it indicates that you know, it's on a payment plan that you're gonna be paying monthly. Um, and then it, it uh, states the total, which this right here is the total that is due today. And then the total price of the product, which is payable over you know, three, three months. And then um, we scroll to the bottom at the cart details, you'll see uh, the subtotal, which is $67. And then it indicates um, very concretely how much money that the, the customer has to pay today. Um, and then also the future payments. So then if you click, you know, proceed to checkout. Then uh, from here, um, you'll, you know, put in all your uh, information. Um, and further, you'll see on you know the checkout page, you'll see all the information that was stated on the cart page. But then you also uh, see like when the next payment, um, when your next payment will be, or, or when the next you know plan test order. Anyways, but if I select you know buy now, it's order received. Um, so then if I you know navigate, so you know post purchase. If I navigate um, to my account. I'll see, I'll have, um, it, it displays like the deposits that are currently active. So right here it says, so I actually have two, but right here it says uh, my next payment is September 8th, 2020. Um, it's for $25 a month and update their payment method. Um, so the plugin is set up that um, if a payment does fail, it'll retry it five times. So I think the intervals are you know, uh, if it fails the first time, it's 12 hours, then it's 24 hours, then it's, uh, you know, 48 hours, then it's 72 hours, um, are like the four or five different uh, retry intervals. And then um, so during that time, it will send out like an automatic email to the customer that they need to update their payment uh, method in their account. So then they can click on the, uh, the email, email link and they can navigate to um, their payment plan and then change payment. Uh, we also set it up in the my account um, as after like the first uh, installment has been paid and the customer can't just come back um, and you know uh, cancel their payment they have to um, we set it up so if they're going to change the payment they uh, they need to change it to a credit card that works first 
Um, they can't cheat it to like a, a dummy, um, you know, credit card that won't uh, work in the system. Again, you can find all the plugin links in the description box below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm trying to uh, make more videos in quarantine. So if you have any good ideas for some videos or need help with something on WooCommerce or WordPress, don't hesitate to leave a comment um, below as well with the suggestion of a new video.